Hello guys. Okay, so um, today is uh, I'm pretty free. We're gonna do an updated newbie guide 101 brown dust. Um, we're gonna try and go as fast as possible and cover everything I think you should know. Okay, so first we're gonna go with stats. Stats. This little thing here. This is your attack. Uh, 844. Uh, heart. The heart shape is health. Um, the shield is defense. Uh, health, you know, it's pretty the same in every single game. Attack, the amount of damage you do when you attack. Defense, defense is the amount of damage that is reduced. So let's say you have, mm, you have 55% defense. So. 55% of the damage taken is reduced. Alright, this little thing here, this is crit rate. Um, 20%, okay, crit rate. Uh, this little explosion thing here, uh, this is your crit damage. So when you crit, then you get crit damage. Uh, if you play other online games and stuff, self explanatory. Don't really have to go into that. Okay, so the shoe, the shoe is agility. Agility is the chance for your enemies to graze you. So let's say you have 100% agility. 100% agility. Alright, 100% agility. Um, you will take 35% less damage. So this 35% is grazed. Means you don't you don't uh, take that damage at all. Alright, that's it for stats. Anything else? Check out the in-game guide. In-game guide look here all right uh, support stats support stats is uh, for supports <laughs> uh, meaning okay, let's say I have 164.96 percent support stat on my arenas so this is times 40 percent and this is the percentage that your attack is boosted when it's cast on your and light units okay it's the same for other uh, other boost crit rate and all that okay so we're done with stats units we roll for only one unit you need right now this unit is going to make your life so much easier in the game there's no other reason no other unit that you need to get and that is sir uh, Seer is going to carry your ass through campaign, evil castle, basically every single damn thing. All right. Get Seer if you're rerolling, you're putting in the damn effort. You're gonna do, I don't know, 50 rerolls or some shit. I don't know. That's up to you. Get Seer. Ideal case scenario Seer plus. A Sigmund or a Foxy, any DPS, all right. Sigmund, Foxy, Jin, uh, Elenia, even Elenia is fine. Anything with Seer is a good reroll, but the main thing is you need Seer. Okay. If you want to go one step further. You want to have an extremely, extremely good reroll. Mileage, you want Acera. Okay, Acera is a 100 mileage roll. Where is the damn thing? There you go. But it is a 5% chance for you to get Acera. Acera is needed for you to get Celia. Celia is... Uh, needed for... You, you need Acera to make... What's her name? Astrid. Basically this guy, you need Arlos to make Astrid. So you need Acera. Okay. That would be ideal. You don't really have to go for Acera. 
but she's cheap and since you're gonna have mileage anyway, try your luck. Most importantly, Seer, okay? She is the most used unit in my server for a reason. 78.4% Practically 3 quarters of the server uses Seer okay, You can even use her for transport bosses Other decent 5 star units We'll talk about legends and 6 devils at the end of the video um, Foxy, Sigmund uh, Gunther, Gunther can be fused. Okay, you just need all these units. You know you'll get from the login event that you get uh, if you're a new player. Everybody gets at least one. Okay. So uh, if you don't have Kyle or Frederica, use your four star tickets. If you really want Gunther, in my opinion, Gunther is a good investment. He doesn't need skill ups. So just use the 4 star selection ticket and then just get the, the, the units that you need for Gunther. Alright, and then you just have to wait until you log in enough for Eno. Where the hell was Kyle and Frederica? There you go, Kyle, Frederica, okay. Gunther is going to help you in campaign, uh, Evil Castle. Very strong unit. In my opinion, for a new player, one of the must-haves. Mm, warriors. Let's, let's not go. We just go by rarity, okay? Um, Five-star tanks. Arkan. But I don't suggest rolling for Arkan. Because our meta is going to shift drastically. When Season 2, uh, Octos are coming up. Um, Gilmarin is okay. Magicians, uh, I, I is great. Plus zero, I is more than enough. Just have to six star and awaken her, and she gets this skill. So when you awaken, you get you this skill unlocks. Not like this one, you see, it's locked. So when you awaken a unit, the fourth skill is unlocked, and then you have it on the unit. All right. I is great. Supporters, supporters, uh, Venaka. Venaka is very strong. Mm. What's unique about Venaka is you can't remove her buff. And it lasts for 35 turns. Yeah. Uh, Veronia is very used in Japan server. She's very uh, a very good single unit buffer. She's tanky. Mm. Themis is decent if you're new, in my opinion. Yeah, decent, but I would not recommend skilling her up for the moment. I mean, sh she's like a last resort, you know. If you get Themis. You, mm, Venaka like is much stronger as a support, I think. And Boronia too. Okay, so uh five star units done with them. Foxy, Jin. Yeah, Jin is also very strong. Mm. Dwayne. Dwayne is okay without skill ups. Not okay, below okay. But with more skill ups like plus 9, he becomes good. Uh, as with most of the units in the game, you need high skill ups. Skill ups is the number right here, plus whatever. Okay. 4 star units. Okay, so if your team, you have Seer and nothing else. So what you're going to need is damage units. Damage units are Yunram. Yunrang is extremely good for PvP, mainly arena, because she hits two squares from the back. 
Viola. Viola is multi-purpose. You can use her practically everywhere. Campaign, Evil Castle, Raids, uh, World Boss, uh, Arena. Practically, you can use for everything. Okay? Viola is great. Uh, when she has high skill ups Okay, so basically all 4 star units They need more skill ups uh, The higher the, the, At least plus 9 to be Good Okay, for all 4 star units And then we have the queen uh, Of uh, Novice Arena Hell I think you get her from login as well uh, High skill up needed She's gonna carry your ass In Novice Arena Very strong unit uh, once she gets going, practically unstoppable, except by certain units, alright? Like Elk. Um, those that remove Taunt. Very, very strong. Um, Warriors, again, we got Leto. You can't get Leto from the 4 star ticket. You need to fuse Leto. Leto is a mat for Gunther. Uh, you just need these 4 units, fuse, and you get Leto. So you can keep going, keep fusing, and then you can get Leto to plus 9, pretty easy. Recommended, very very painful unit. Hits the last row, single square. Very strong. Uh, I think there is an uh, old guide that says Xenon is strong. He is shit. Please do not get Xenon, unless you want to fuse Sabrina was it? Yeah, Sabrina. Sabrina is important. Uh, you need her for World Boss. Um, she is required for World Boss. Okay. What others do we have? Uh, Zakan, we go. Okay, the current meta in the game: Belayev and Bombers, and just you know, unkillable tanks. So Wigo is strong, it's a 3 star unit, um, very painful, uh, get him up as high as you can, skill him up, easy to skill up, 3 star unit alright. How do you skill up units? You skill them up by uh, skilling up with dupes, duplicates of the same unit. Zakan, Zakan is uh, a reflect counter killer unit that uh, kills squishy DPS that touches him. Also decent for now, but the meta is gonna shift. So I, if you're new, I wouldn't put your eggs in his basket. Okay. Um, what else we got? Four star tank. Denarissa is the star of all the four star tanks. The tankiest one. Uh, mainly because when she is plus nine, Incoming damage minus 65%. That is a huge damage buffer. Okay, very tanky. Bad thing is she cannot receive buffs, cannot receive heals. Uh, but she also is immune to debuffs. Uh, best 4 star tank in the game by far. 4 star defender. We have Britain. Britain is great for novice arena. Falls off in the main arena because... He's he's okay. Uh, he can do what Dwayne does, I guess, just not as painful. But the freeze is nice. Grossa is essential for World Boss. High HP. Probably what the highest HP four star unit, I think. Nine thousand two hundred six star. That's a lot. Because if I remember correctly, Arkan is the highest HP 5 star unit. 13,000 at max. So it, it's pretty pretty nice to have Grossa for World Boss. We'll go into that soon after we finish with the units. Um, Musketeers. Uh, Musketeers are essential for Zaratan, the World Boss. And then you can use Brisa or Martina for Tarion, the world boss. So Martina, 
percent and Camille, where's Camille? Yeah, Camille. All right. Mages, mages, four star mages that are great. Uh, Zaka you can use for Ogdot. Was it Ogdot or was it Akstar? Akstar, Akstar. Um, Chakla? Chakla is uh, similar to Zakan. He, most all, okay, all four star units need high skill ups to be effective. Uh, he is, in my opinion, one of the bombers that can last you a long time compared to Zakan because uh, when he does go off, he hurts. Okay, uh, mine has like 10k attack, and then with the buff here, 5% attack every turn, it, it's pretty uh, nice and, and, and big. Okay, big damage. Four star magicians, no. Alright, we're done with that. Four star supports. Four star supports, number one would be Serez. Uh, because this is very, very good. Immune to stats weakening. Because uh, as with, as everyone has here, this is going to save you a lot of trouble. Your DPS is going to be very happy since they are immune to stats weakening. Okay. And she buffs really well too. I'm gonna repeat again, 4 star units, they need their skill ups, okay? Another support, Vincent, Vincent is more retro, still useful, uh, does his job, uh, just not as good as Serenz, but people still use him. Alright, so now we go to 3 star units, 3 star units, we go Wiggle. Um, we go Rye, it's good for Norris Arena. Ron, it's good for Norris Arena. Um, if you watch my other videos, you can see my World Boss lineups. Uh, what I use for World Boss, those units are uh, good for that. So, a lot of units, they are useful in some way, okay? Some way or another, they are useful. So, don't fuse away or, or, or use them as fodder because they are useful in a certain way for something in the game all right defenders uh sloan uh good tank you can use him to clear evil castle six floor to ten floor just make sure you don't get him to five star too, too quickly okay clear the evil castle with him at four star first awakened and then you can get him to five star Mercedes, Mercedes is very good. Uh, probably one of the strongest three-star tanks. Uh, you're gonna get a lot of her anyways. So, skill her up, use her for novice arena. Very nice. Mm. To be honest, in the game, defenders they have one job. And that's just not to die and to hold a DPS on them as long as possible. Mm. A lot of people are getting Eren, but Eren I think is more advanced for higher tier arena. Because I mean, if you just started, all your skill books are gonna go in Seer anyway, um, plus six Seer at minimum. All right. You need plus 6 to get minus 35% incoming damage. So you won't have the resources to actually give to Aaron. So I wouldn't recommend getting him at first. Uh, so this game is all about resources. And the amount of 5 star skill books you get a month is not a lot. If you're a free to play player, you get 4 I think. Four, or if you're hardworking in Ireland, you pillage every day and get five every two months. So four for one month and then the next month you might get five. So it's a premium thing, okay? So don't uh, choose what, so just choose what 
you need most, prioritize what's going to help you the most to advance and progress in the game. Seer plus 6 minimum. Um, if she's plus 3, she just gets uh, mesochism, she's okay. Plus 6, you get a chance, she starts to see her power. And then when she's plus 9, plus 10, that's where she becomes really, really strong. For PvE, okay, for for uh, campaign, evil castle, that kind of thing. Uh, Grace is nice for Grid War uh, to counter Grand Act or Taunts. Nice unit to have in your pocket. Uh, magicians. Uh, my own experience was just because I had Anubis and he was like, I had dupes of him. I used him for Evil Castle, so he's useful a little bit right there. Valtor is a tanky mage. Mm. Falls off after you hit maybe go, go rank in arena. You don't see that much of him anymore because his damage isn't that much. He's still tanky, but as you go up the ranks, uh, the damage units, they just one shot everything. So not that recommended okay three star mages maria noel these two are the star the, the star players all right the, the star three star mages noel and maria essential i guess if you're new very painful three star mages yeah just just noel and maria now supports the three star supports in the game, every single one of them is useful except Daniel. Daniel isn't that strong at all. Okay, so Arenas, Hyunwoo, these two are extremely good. Are you going to use them for a long time if you don't have better supports? Um, a plus 9 three star support is always going to win a 4 star or 5 star support with no skill ups. Okay, in this game, the skill ups matter a lot. Uh, so yeah, you're going to use these two for a long time. Julie, Eras, Idan, Clarice, all useful in certain ways for different world bosses, Evil Castle. They're all useful. And they're easy to scale up as well. Since you're going to get a lot of dupes of them, a lot of duplicates, keep them. Please do not delete them or fuse them or whatever. Okay. Uh, in certain teams, you can use John. John is a 4 star support to give your unit taunt and reduce the damage the unit takes. Certain uh, niche scenarios, alright? Ebony, Serendia. If you have them, you have them, you can use them with a certain amount of skill ups. But I wouldn't recommend skilling them up. Uh, because there are other units that need your books instead, okay? If you have them, you have them. Don't just, uh, don't purposely go and use your 4-star tickets to get these two supports. 4-star mm, defenders... Yeah, I think it's about it. Grossa, yeah. 3-star defenders, Mercedes Sloan, yep, it's about it. Elijah is niche, uh, high skill up, she is usable for now. Christina, also very... Okay, so not... There's, there is no best unit in the game except maybe Lucius. Okay, but we're going to talk about that at the end. Um, units can be used as long as they have high skill ups. Okay, because the difference is huge. So let's say Christina's example. Attack minus 50%, attacks two times. Plus nine, minus 25%. So basically what this means is 50%. So you hit twice, so you get 100% damage total, right? Since you hit twice at 50%, so it's 100%. But at plus nine, 75% times 2, that's 150%. So it's, it's a big difference when you have skill ups. 
where you get skill ups from. Honor shop. Five star skill books. You can buy two a month. This game is time gated. So the longer you play, the more skill ups gonna have, the more four star skill books gonna have, the more legend skill books gonna have, ancient coins. Very time gated game. You can spend a ton of money and you you might not even be that strong anyways. Okay, so it's good for free players. And the amount of currency you get every single day is awesome. Uh, there's basically basically no reason to, to complain about the amount of uh, diamonds you get a day. Yeah? Okay, so priorities. Priorities for a new player. When you just start the game, clear campaign as far as you can as well as you can so three stars of course best you get perfects on all those because every time you clear a quest you get diamonds you get runes you get xp it's all pretty nice clear campaign okay guys i'm stuck right here and i'm too lazy to think uh clear evil castle evil castle is doable maybe i think after your second week in the game you can probably clear until like 20 uh, clear your castle. You're gonna get need, uh, you're gonna get a lot of honor points for you to buy books. Right, you need honor points. You get that from evil castle and arena, or you can buy the Dwayne package. Was it Dwayne package? Yeah. Two thousand five hundred honor points for seven hundred gems with a hundred of a uh, thousand horseshoes. If you're new, you might need to buy that pack a lot. Okay, you're gonna have a lot of gems anyways. Um, and then in the game there's world boss uh, if you're new focus on your campaign your evil castle and then when you have spare resources please focus your world boss because in my opinion if you're new your arena is never going to rank high unless you're a huge whale uh, focus on world boss get as high as uh, high points total that you can get because, okay, let's say uh, max rewards is 648,000. So at max rewards, you get 54 diamonds, 10 ancient coins, and then uh, the pieces every single day. So it's 54 diamonds every day, 10 ancient coins every day. Okay, so highest grade. This is your main source of income long term in the game. Every single day, you're going to get gems from that. After you've cleared all of campaign, all of evil castle, you can only do it once. So once you clear all of these, you can't do it anymore. You're not going to get uh, all the gems and all the books and all that. Right? Ancient coins, yeah. So it's only clearable once. You can only get it once. So the main long-term income, it comes from world boss very important then as your units get stronger you automatically you get better ranks in arena okay well, my defense is so bad today well um yeah so as your units get stronger you're able to climb the ranks in arena because you can win more you can defend better um in the arena, uh, the higher rank you are, the more honor you get per fight. Okay, so if you're like bronze, you just started, you get 3 honor. Uh, still worth to do arena, because swords they regenerate. So as you get the swords, just use them. The honor is great. Uh, it doesn't matter if you lose, just keep spamming the swords. Get the honor and buy the books that you need all right uh, guild war get a guild ASAP because uh, for when you get a guild uh, you get a check-in reward every single day and depending on the level of your guild 
um, maybe you can join when you just start maybe level 8 level 7 you get 140 horseshoes 160 horseshoes a day it's pretty decent and if you join a really good guild you can get 225 horseshoes that's that's pretty nice get a guild ASAP Uh, do your arena, it doesn't matter if you lose Mystic Island uh, Mystic Island, so you just basically you put units in and then they just farm for you they get XP when they're done uh, so you can level up units with Mystic Island as well um, so you need Mystic Dust because you can buy 5 star skill book 1 a month uh, you're gonna need to unlock these with gold I think it stops here and then it's like 250,000 or something per slot so you unlock all the way and then you can buy the 5 star skill book and the 5 star skill piece okay so you need 75,000 uh, if you do your mystic island every single day you will have enough you don't have to pillage but you can if you need more you want more mystic dust What else? I mean the new global server is coming out so I think I should update the guide a little bit. Um, what else? Runes. Okay, so basically when you just start out your runes are not going to be that great. They're probably going to be... Uh, maybe 3 star runes usable uh, early stages uh, I don't suggest you uh, enhance enchant your plus your, your four star runes costly and just not as good okay so let's compare let's say this rune this is a four star rune with SBA uh, and then we compare to this one ABS 3 star rune. There's not much of a difference. Alright. Uh, there's no straight comparison here. Hmm. I'm sorry. I got rid of all my 3 star runes quite a while ago. Yeah. The only 4 star rune that is worth enchanting is a shield rune. The shield runes, they can be pretty nice. Okay. So 21% is decent. Uh, to because 4 star shield runes uh, for defense, they can be pretty good. 24.96. And as you farm rune temple, you're gonna get a lot of runes. Alright, rune temple. And the speed at which you farm, uh, it depends on the numbers, or number of turns that you take to clear it. So let's say you have a ton of horseshoes, you're like, I don't know, 5k. Uh, if you clear, once clear it once fast then you can just do the auto and you, it runs in the background you can't close the app you have to leave it on but it runs in the background you can do other things in the game yeah but it's nice crystal cave do it every day if you're a new player please do it every single day clear it because there is only a limited amount of times you can clear it a day 10 times a day all right what am i doing Clear it as soon as you start the game, seriously. You can only clear it ti uh, 10 times, and then if you want to clear it more for more crystals, you're gonna have to spend gems. So start early, don't waste your t your days, uh, your early days, not doing it. What else we got? Co-op raid. Co-op raid is uh, for you to get soul gear, like this. So you get soul pieces that you can summon soul gear and then uh, as you do raids you can get 5 star soul, soul gear pieces as well right yeah uh, if you're new I don't think there's any way you can do the, the hard raids yourself uh, join a good guild get your guild members to carry you 
uh, be the second or the third person in the raid. Because you can get four people, right? So be the second and third, and then let the fourth guy be someone strong and finish the raid off. Okay, so try and do this every single day. Use your horns. Uh, try and get a better guild. Better friends. Yeah. What the hell is this? Okay, yeah. Uh, and also, it's one of the daily missions, I think. Dailies. Yeah, one of these. Mm -hmm. uh, clear daily missions every single day. Uh, because you get nice rewards like this was 400 diamonds uh, as you as you go longer into the game it changes to this yeah achievements uh, when you clear campaign getting all perfect like this you get gems from achievements and then when you clear hard you get more gems as well okay so clearing campaign is nice because you get a lot of nice rewards. Mission coins. And just basically just clear as far as you can. Alright. Then we have events. Right now we got an evil castle event. As you clear the evil castle, you get gold, you get gems, uh, scrolls, slimes, a lot of stuff. All right, so just just do the events. Uh, this is just from playing the game. You get these kind of mats, and then you can make a book and whatever. Right now, then the, there was the Vi Valentine's event. Yeah. So basically just play the game and you're rewarded, yeah? Uh, if you're, you're starting out, there's no point saving gems, just summon. Uh, what should you summon? Okay, let's start going to that. Right now we have three banners, Rogan, Themis, and Aaron. Uh, if you're starting out, Aaron banner is nice because you can get Yumrang and Hell. Uh, for you to get skill ups for them. Uh, again, I don't suggest Aaron. So when you reroll, um, try going for something else. But this is a, a pretty nice newbie banner, to be honest. But Aaron is, is not newbie friendly. Yeah. Uh, Foxy is nice. Themis is uh, okay. Alright, I guess. Uh, she's a very unique support since she casts on herself, so you can place her anywhere and she buffs anyone around her. What do I mean by this? Let me explain. Show it to you. Okay, so let's say... The miss... And then some random. Alright. So see? Wherever she goes, she casts around a uh, uh, three times three. Yeah. Otherwise Okay, watch my other video for Arena Basics. Okay, how are you gonna change supports? How are you gonna put the supports uh, place them and position them? I'm not gonna talk about that here. Okay, summoning. Uh, if you're a new player, mileage is essential. So use the gems, don't buy the scrolls. Uh, don't buy the legend scrolls. Just use your gems, 900 gems for legends. Uh, you can get Lucy, Lucius, Olivia right now. But when season 2 comes out, you can get, uh, what was it? Velge? Velge? And Belfern? Belfern? Yeah. So Lucius is probably the biggest prize in the game right now. Mm -hmm. um, the best roadblock in the game. Nothing else comes close. Lucius, alright. Uh, if you're starting global, I'm not sure what they're going to start with. 
but if you do they do give you extra gems when you reroll then you can try rolling for Seer and Lucius and s some other uh, 5 star warrior DPS a damage unit yeah yeah but uh, scrolls is definitely cheaper on your gem uh, usage your diamond usage as you can buy it for 600 I think yeah 600 600 gems for 10 scrolls and 300,000 gold but mileage is good because you can select any 5 star available except legends so getting mileage is nice uh, Rogan I don't uh, Wester Wester is a meme I guess <laughs> don't don't roll on this banner, okay? It's not good at all. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, good. N not newbie friendly, but okay. Foxy is very good. She's used uh, in Korea right now, and Korea is like six months ahead of the my server, Asia server. So Foxy is a long term unit, mostly used to counter Lucius. Yeah, Foxy. Let's go right here. The one on my main screen. This one. Okay, Legends. Uh, so, right now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 Legends. Um, there are only 2 Legends that are Gacha. Meaning you have to you know, gacha and use luck and see whether you can get any of them. Other than that, you can get them with ancient coins. Sito, Belayev, all the six devils. Refitia, Angelica, Alec, Grandhilda, Natas, and Celia. Celia is used, uh, as I showed you just now. Uh, best six devil, in my opinion, with long term growth is Refi. Refi is like probably one of the best supports. Um, used widely in Grand X with Gran and Celia. Yeah, so Rafi is okay. Angelica is probably the most used legend in the game. Uh, when I started, everyone put Angelica. There was no doubt about it. Okay, but she falls off uh, like all of the six devils. But yeah, Angelica was the most popular. She's strong. She takes a lot less damage and she deals a ton of damage when she is plus 3. Max HP times 20% additional damage, that's a lot. Okay. And as you go higher, 35%, 50%, yeah. She's good. But she falls off. Alright. And since season 2 is coming, I don't recommend you spending your ancient coins yet. Just wait for season 2 to come and then you can get Belferon. Uh, Alec fixed damage. Fixed damage in the game is very interesting. Is that uh, in that it, it doesn't get reduced by defense. So even if let's say Sia has her defense proc up, right? Her skill is up there. She has hundred percent defense. Alec still cuts through the defense and then deals damage to her. She doesn't take zero damage, like from other normal DPS units. Okay. Fix damage, yeah. Fix additional damage. Alec is still widely used in Korea, so not a bad choice if you're lacking damage units. Not highly recommended because if you're new, I think Ancient Coins should go to Season 2 Octos, yeah. Grand, needed for Grand Deck. Uh, that's why it's called Grand Deck, yeah. Natas. I haven't seen Natas in a long time. I think very few people use Natas. Celia is nice for Grand Deck because it uh, reduces stats. Octo. Sito, very rare in the server. He is a good unit, but he needs skill ups. And Legend skill books are so costly. It's 800 ancient coins per book. 
and if your world boss is max you get 10 ancient coins a day so very very high investment if you want to get Sito yeah because he's strong and he does fix damage as well but it's a lot of investment Belioth uh, Belioth is our meta right now in my server, Asia server everybody gets Belioth because of the skeletons uh, probably the most annoying support to deal with in the server right now yeah you're fighting against a Belioth and the buff is on like 4 or 5 units you're gonna have to deal with four skeletons that reflect damage on you yeah it's pretty decent right now but she falls off so bear in mind if you're gonna invest in Belioth alright look um, it counter attacks fix damage by self destructing to the enemy who attacks the skeleton so as you skill her up The damage they return is a lot. Okay, this is based on enemies attack. She falls off in the future because we get Belfran. That does a huge AoE. It's 3 times 3. 9 squares. Uh, and he has... Uh, was it self armor? Was it? Or was it death guard? I can't remember. So he does not die to skeletons. And that's why uh, Belia falls off. And Belfran is probably going to be in everybody's team. Practically every single person, yeah. So she falls off. If you're new, don't bother getting Belioth now. Even though she is the meta in the server right now. Because the future of Belioth is very, very dark. Yeah. Lucius, as I said, the number one unit in the game uh, if you reroll Lucius and do not have Seer you're gonna have a shit time because Lucius is a god in arena not so much in other aspects of the game okay so you're gonna have a hard time progressing uh, Levia is okay any unit she casts on dies when she's plus 3 because she does max HP damage in my opinion, she's good as a magician. She's very strong. Max HP, 85% at 0. At plus 3, it's 125% of max HP. So anything that she touches dies at plus 3. She's strong. Um, that's why she's a legend, right? Um... I think they're gonna buff her in Korea because she's not used that much and she's a legend unit so I'm not sure what the buffs are gonna be but she'll probably be stronger after that so nice unit to have okay uh, I think I'm done uh, did I miss anything out? yeah add friends guys send gifts get your achievements free gems free gems Get friends. Uh, getting good friends, strong uh, friend leaders uh, can help you clear content. In my case, I get Levia friends because uh, Levia helps a lot in campaign. So I, I like having Levia friends. Get friends, yeah? Uh, Soul Gear is more advanced down the line because you need. Uh, plus 10 soul gear to actually get your unit to plus 10 otherwise it's uh, max at plus 9 from skill books so if you want to get plus 10 you need to max 3 of her skill soul gears max right? and you can get one more skill point to plus 10 so like say Noel soul gear is not maxed at all she's at plus 9 I can't add her anymore yeah, there, there isn't a, a, any option to skill up as well not like here right What else? Mm. 
think that's about it. Clear the events, guys. Uh, if you're gonna spend money, I recommend getting the, that beginner thing as you rank up. I don't have it right now because I bought it. Yep, that's about it. Is there? Oh yeah, uh, event on dungeons on weekends. Uh, starts on Friday after midnight, so 2 a.m. on Friday. Uh, it opens for me. I don't know what time it is for you, but uh, it runs for two hours. You can get slimes, you can get gold. Right, so clear the highest difficulty for gold, because you can get a chance to get the go the goblin gold. The, the, this guy here. And when you sell it, you get 200,000 gold. That's that's quite a lot. And then slimes just clear as in one you need. Mm, I normally do slimes level 2. And then gold, I do the, the highest level. Okay, that's about it guys. Right now there is guild war event as well. So join a guild. Uh, get some points. Get... Uh, these kind of rewards and then you get uh, for your guild total point rewards these all pretty nice all right that's about it guys uh, and no s costumes in the game do not give you added stats yeah it's just to look nice <laughs> personally uh, I like the grand one this is a nice costume especially this one too but I don't have grand, so there's no point for me to get it. And you guys hope you enjoyed this updated version of the 101 guide to Brown Dust. Yeah. Uh, give me a like, uh, follow me as a sub uh, to my YouTube, and maybe sometimes you can catch me on stream. Yeah. Uh, my Twitch is... Uh, I, I, I'm not using my old Twitch, so I changed to a new one. It's Twitch TV uh, slash CDFH85. Yeah, so uh, follow me there and when I stream you can maybe watch a little bit and we can talk and stuff okay guys thanks for watching the video I think it's pretty long we hope it helped you a lot let me know in the comments as well alright see you guys bye